Hello and welcome to this eighth Ask Your Hotel Techie video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider and I'm here to share our know-how about hotel technology with you in video format. I want to take a step back this week from hotel specific topics and I would like to discuss software evaluation a bit more generally. In this age of digital transformation, there are constantly new processes, new tools that can help us automate or optimize elements in our organization. We do add a new tool to our kit every couple of months and that brings me into a position where I have to evaluate a lot of software. And I would like to share my approach and my input with you. So next time you do have to evaluate the software, you might have some input and some other strategies to have a more structured approach to it. One approach that I see a lot and that I think is quite suboptimal is the gut feeling approach or also a purely recommendation based approach. If you have, let's take an example from the hospitality industry, the property management system, a colleague of yours a couple of towns over recommends a property management system that he found that is great for him. That is a good approach and a place to start with, but if you purely base yourself on that recommendation, that might be complete overkill for you, or it might have a lot of functionalities missing that you don't actually realize. What I always recommend as a first step, take an overview. Look at what is the actual process I'm trying to automate. Is it checking? Is it checkout? Is it accounting related? What are the actual steps you're trying to automate? And that is a good starting point for your evaluation. I recommend doing this not just as a mental exercise, but physically taking a piece of paper and a pen and mapping it out so it also gets clearer for you. Now that you have your broad overview of the process, you have to dig in and go into the specific functionalities. Look at the process at the different pieces and how that interprets into a functionality that you need. At this point, I also highly recommend to talk to the people that are going to use the system finally. On one hand, you're going to get inputs on what they would need and other functionalities that are needed in the software. And on the other hand, any implementation of a new tool is also a change project and the earlier you have your team on board, the better and the easier that is going to work. So based on these functionalities that you found, you're going to get a list of must-haves, absolute killer criteria that the software has to do for you to, to take it. And on the other hand, you're going to have a list of nice to have, so functions you, you see, you appreciate, but that are not absolutely core to, to your decision. Now that you've defined your nice to have and must have functions, put them into a specific structure that is going to help you to evaluate them afterwards. I personally like to use an Excel file that, for that. I take the functions and add them into the Excel file as a column, and that's going to help me afterwards to evaluate the software. In addition to the core functions you're looking for, there are also some global elements that obviously you have to consider when evaluating any software. This is not an exhaustive list at all. I just want to give you some inputs of the elements that I look at. First, I always add a line for price. What is the price structure? Is it a monthly price? Is, it a, is there a setup fee? Is it an investment that is involved? And you should also look at the contractual conditions. Is it can I cancel it whenever I want? Is it a long-term binding contract that will influence your decision? Look at support. What kind of support do you get in the beginning and in the implementation process? What kind of support can you expect on a daily basis? What is the medium? Can you call? Do you have an email? What are the hours that, you, that they're reachable? And what is the cost of that support? You're going to work in the system on a daily or very regular basis. So the user experience, the look and feel of the system should definitely also be one of the criteria in your evaluation. Next to that, look at regulatory elements. If there are credit cards involved, is there a PCI compliance? If there are personal data involved, is the system GDPR compliant? Consider that as a clear killer criteria if they're not. You have your evaluation criteria. Now you need to look at specific products that you want to evaluate. Now comes the recommendation that you got into play. Obviously add the recommendation to your list. Then you have a lot of other resources such as Google or Capterra that are just going to help you find lists of softwares. Hotel specifically, I recommend using platforms such as Hotel Hero 
or hotel tech report. In each category, you're going to find a big selection of softwares out there. I recommend to stay between five and 10 different solutions that you look at. If you go above that, it's going to get very time intensive and difficult to manage. If you go below that, your selection gets less valid, but obviously it depends also how important this tool is going to be within your organization. So find the option, find a list of options that you want to look at and add them to your evaluation. Now we come to the research phase, add your functions and the products you're looking at into your Excel file and then go and look at the products. You can do some research on their websites or other sources, but I always recommend actually seeing a live demo of the product that gives you the opportunity to see the usability of the system, but also to ask your questions and fill out your criteria. Now we come to the actual decision parts. You have done your research, you have looked at all the solutions and you have made your comments. You go back to your spreadsheet now. Get rid of all the solutions that do not fulfill your must-have criteria. If they're not fulfilling your must-have criteria, they're not the right solution for you. On the ones that are left, you're going to allocate a value, you're going to give them a ranking for each of the decision criteria. So each product for each criteria gets a ranking. Sometimes it makes sense to compare them to each other and just say which of these do I like best and that one's going to get the highest value. Based on that value, based on the sum of these values that you've attributed, you're going to take your decision. With this structured approach, you have now found the best solution out there for you. I always recommend when possible to make use of a test or a trial period. A lot of solutions do offer that just to confirm your decision, to get a bit more of a feeling and really be comfortable with it. I hope I was able to give you a structured approach to software evaluation and that next time you do have to look for a new tool that you'll use this input to really make the best decision for you. Please let me know what you think. Are there elements that I forgot? Do you maybe have other questions about software evaluation or any other topics, hotel and technology related? I'm happy to do a video about that as well. Feel free to share like and subscribe to these videos. I'm Alicia, this is Ask Your Hotel Techie. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.